In this video, I explain what is coupling, clutch, and brake. So, coupling and clutch are power transmission element. Means, coupling and clutch is used to transmit a power. So, which type of the power these two component is transmit? They are transmit the mechanical power. Mechanical power means coupling and clutch is transmit the rotational energy from one part to another parts means one component to another component so this component is called as the shaft so it is used for transmitting power from one shaft to another shaft means coupling and clutch is used to transmit rotational energy of one shaft to another shaft with this rotational energy they are also transmit the power for a torch so now what is the definition of coupling Coupling is a device used to connect two shaft. Means two shaft are connected by using the coupling. So coupling have a various types. So here in this diagram you see number of types of coupling is that. But in GTU syllabus or in a various university syllabus all the coupling are not there. Okay, so few of the coupling are there. That is the rigid couplings, sleeve coupling, flange coupling. Split muff coupling, universal coupling, and old hall. For these all the types of the coupling, I will make the separate videos. So from the word coupling, what we understand? So coupling word is come from the couples. Couple means that is a pair. Okay. So this device used to couple it to shaft. It is called as the coupling. So here you see in all the coupling that is a hole is there. Okay, so in hall the shaft is inserts and from other side the second shaft is inserts. So power is transmitted from one shaft to another shaft. Second component is the clutch. So you already know that we use the clutch in a two wheeler, four wheelers or any vehicles. Okay. So what is the function of this clutch? Clutch is a device which engage and disengage of driving shaft and driven shaft whenever required. Even it may rotate. So, what is driving shaft and driven shaft? So, one shaft it is rotated by some power, it is called driving shafts. And by using this driving shaft, other shaft is rotated, it is called as the driven shafts. So, in our vehicles, suppose here you see one diagram of the four wheel, these are the tires. Okay, here you see engine. In engine, some mechanical power is produced. So, this mechanical power is supplied to this shaft, it is called as the driving shafts. Okay, on this driving shaft, Flywheel is there, clutch is there, and gearbox is there. Okay. In a gearbox, you look like this. If you open the gearbox, so in a gearbox, number of gear are there, driving shaft is there, and a driven shaft is there. And here you see there is the gear lever is there. Okay. So when we press the clutch, the driving shaft and driven shaft is disengaged, and we change the gear. And when we change the gear, the speed of the vehicle is increased. So these are the inside diagram of the gearbox. So clutch is used to engage and disengage of the driving shaft and driven shafts. So in between driving and driven shaft, number of gear is there. So which gear is connected? It is depend on the gears. Now here you see various types of the clutch. That is a friction clutch, corn clutch, overrunning clutch, safety clutch, centrifugal clutch. For all these types of the clutch, I will make separate videos. Coupling is a device used to make permanent or semi-permanent connections. So coupling is used to make permanent and semi-permanent connections. While clutch is permit flexibility for connection and disconnection whenever required. Means clutch is provide flexibility for connection and disconnection. So when we press the clutch, disconnection is there. Third component is a brake. So in our vehicles we also use the brake. So for which function we use the brake? Either we need to reduce the speed of the vehicles or we need to stop the vehicles. So what is the on which principle it is work? It is work on the frictionals. Okay, that's why it is called as the frictional device. And what's primary function is to control the motion of machine members. So machine members means it is also used in some industrial machines. Any any machine there is a, some rotational part is there for reduce its speeds or stop they use the brake. In our vehicles we also 
use in our vehicles the wheel is rotated so it is considered as the machine members so it is a device used to bring machine members into rest or slow down means either it is used to stop the machines or either it is used to reduce the speeds here the various image for various types of the brake for all the types of the brake i will make the separate videos so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or other subject of mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends